Hello everybody, it's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this English class here on Zoom. It's nice to have you one more time and I wish you the best in here. Welcome, welcome, welcome people. It's nice to have you. We'll continue working on this thing which is called um, learning English. That's the thing. English for work today. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're going to wait a couple of minutes for your classmates so they can join us. In the meantime, let me show you what's going to be today's agenda. Okay. As you may know, this is the last class of this module, which is intermediate number one. We will have section number five one more time, which is tell me about your family. And the topic for today is quantifiers. That's today's agenda in this class number 16. So welcome. Nice to have you. And I wish you the best. Okay, so let's see how many do we have. We don't have to. Oh my gosh. We don't have too many people. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you again. Okay, somebody's sending a message. Okay, Leslie, thank you so much for being here. Nice to have you one more time. Welcome, welcome. in here welcome it's nice to have you again this is going to be today's agenda on this which is class number 16 um this is the last class of this module um which is intermediate one and we're going to have quantifiers that is the thing we are going to have on today's class so welcome people it's nice to have you one more time Barbara is here. Hello, Barbara Cabrera. How are you? Mm -hmm. Barbara. Hello, teacher. Are you ready for the weekend, Barbara? Uh, yes, so so. <laughs> okay, any plans for this weekend? Um, work. Oh, you work on Saturday? Uh, working uh, the the uh, the the weekend yes see sí. you work on weekend oh that's not good I'm sorry I'm sorry for you okay <laughs> como dice la señor Nurka right sorry for you okay I'm sorry for you okay <laughs> Claudia hello Claudia how are you nice to have you Claudia welcome how are you pretty good thank you are you ready for the weekend Claudia Yes, okay. Sounds very good. What are you going to do that weekend? Sounds very good. Sounds very good. Thank you so much. Gabriel, thank you so much for letting me know. Daniela. Hello, Daniela Magali. Mm -hmm. Daniela. Hello. Tell me, Daniela, what do you have for this weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? What are your plans? What are your plans for this uh, weekend, Daniela? Do you understand the question, Daniela? Yes. 
Thank you so much. What are your plans for this weekend? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no tengo plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are going to stay at home all weekend. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. What is your favorite like movie or the thing you are going to watch on the weekend? Mm, my favorite movie is <laughs> Mm -hmm. is Naruto. <laughs> oh, Naruto. You love Naruto. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is your favorite character of Naruto? Sasuke? Orochimaru? What is your favorite character? Eh... Mm -hmm. Tunade? Eh... I don't know. Chikamaru. <laughs> Oh, Chikamaru, okay. <laughs> Very good. That's a good one. I think Chikamaru was a Hokage, right? He was he was a Hokage, I guess. I guess. Yes or no? No, right. <laughs> oh, he was the second the second guard with Naruto, I guess. Yeah. Thank you so much. Very good, Daniela. Thank you so much. That's a great, that's a great anime. Ernesto is here. Hello, Ernesto. Welcome. Nice to have you. Hello, Good evening here. Oh, are, are you going to have a barbecue on the weekend? Um, mm -hmm. are, are you having a barbecue on the weekend, Ernesto? Um, no tengo planes, <laughs> no okay. tengo planes para... no plans for the weekend? Okay, that's not good. Yeah, no People plans for the weekend. People get plans, you know what I mean? This is the weekend, enjoy it. Have fun, unless you work. Right? If you work on Saturdays and Sunday, well, forget about it. But if it's not, well, try to enjoy the weekend. I will take the attendance. Okay, just give me a minute. I have it here. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I can um, I can have the attendance really quick. Okay, just give me, give me some time. Okay, change. Okay. Give me a minute, please. Sorry. Give me a minute. This thing is, is loading. This thing is loading. Okay. Attendance, please. Okay. My gosh. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alison, Daniela. Hello, Alison. Are you here? Hello, hello, Alison. How are you? Are you here, Alison? No? Okay. Thank you so much. Let's continue with Ana Marisol Zamora. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Thanks to have you. Andrea Marisol Represa. No? Okay. Vanessa Landos. Present. Wonderful, Vanessa. Welcome. Barbara Cabrera. Present, teacher. Thank you, Barbara. Brenda Castro. Hello, Brenda. No? Okay, let's continue with you, Carolina del Carmen Pérez. Carolina del Carmen Pérez, no? Okay. Um, Claudia López. Hello, Claudia. Cristina. Cristina Monge. No? Okay. Um, Daniela Asensio. Present. Thank you. Edgar. No, Ernesto. Griselda. Thank you, Ernesto. Griselda. Good evening, teacher. Nice to have you, Griselda. Um, Ivania Mendoza. No? Okay. Um, Jennifer Torres. No. Okay. Um, Jennifer Moss. Uh, Jennifer Marroquín. Uh, Jocelyn Mancia. 
No. Uh, Karen Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Colocho. I'm here. Perfect. Thank you so much, Carla. Laura Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Leslie Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Lisbeth. Lisbeth, no? Okay, Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Yes? No, okay. Um, here, teacher. Oh, Carmen, you're here? Perdón, Lorena, you're here? Yes. Yes or no? Yes, I am here. Oh, thank you so much. Lucia? Yeah, no? Okay. Uh, Mayra? No. Uh, Raúl, no. Uh, Dalila, no. Uh, Ruth del Carmen, no. Uh, Stephanie Quintanilla, no. Okay. Thank you so much. Just give me a minute. Let me check the, the message here in the chat. Lorena, thank you so much, sure. Lorena del Carmen. Yes. Hay unos compañeros que se han reportado en el grupo que dicen que no se pueden conectar. Oh, ok. Thank you so much for letting me know. Yes. Solo en ese aspecto sí recordarles que uh, tienen que comunicarse con el centro de formación. En el caso, pues, es fascista. Sí, sí, gracias. Yo les digo en el chat, gracias por informarme. O a veces les digo, I got it. Eh, solo para, pues, enterado. ¿verdad? Lo cual no significa que les doy permiso para que se ausenten, ok, en el caso pues falten, sí, les recomiendo que se comuniquen con el encargado del, del curso, dentro de formación profesional, eh, están ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí los puede encontrar y usted les escribe personalmente, pues esas situaciones, ok, Griselda, thank you so much for letting me know, okay, I appreciate that. Okie dokie people, let's begin with the material we have available for today, is the following, ok, Quantifiers, yesterday we started. Empezamos hablando acerca de quantifiers yesterday. El día de hoy vamos a continuar. I've been practicing on this one. I will play the video one more time so you can review and then we'll practice all today. So let's listen and watch. Okay, a minute. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay, so quantifiers. When do we use quantifiers? Is we use them, we use them when we don't know the quantity, the exact quantity. So what we do is with quantifiers, we have an estimated 
of the quantity, right? We don't know exactly how much is it, but we give some like random, let's say, uh, um, like an estimated quantity, estimated quantity, okay? So we use this quantifier like a lot of all, you, nearly all before plurals noun, okay? Um, families are small, use no one before a verb, okay? So, entonces, todos estos que están acá, todos estos, van siempre antes de un noun. ¿Qué es un noun? Objects. Todos los objetos que tenemos, right? Y que esos objetos tienen que ser plurales. Entonces, todos estos, all, nearly all, all, many, a lot of, some, not many, few, all of them, cuando los utilicemos, tenemos que utilizar después de eso, un noun, que es un object, objeto, un animal, ok, lo que sea, pero tiene que ir en plural, ok. There is one exception, hay una excepción que es con no one. Cuando tenemos el no one, vamos a utilizar antes de un verbo, ¿sí? Como aquí, ¿ya? Ahí tenemos un verbo, un verbo. No one va antes de un verbo. Y los demás van antes de un noun que sea plural. ¿Ok? Aquí tenemos otra característica. Nearly all means almost all. So it's quite the same. Okay. Questions at home? Questions at home? Edgar, everything is clear? Laura, is everything clear? Yes, yes. No, no. Si no entiende, let me know. Sure. Sí, yeah. no. Yeah? No lo entiendo. Okay. One more time, Laura. Very good. Estos son quantifiers. Le llamamos quantifier cuando hablamos de quantity, right? Cantidad de algo. Yes? In English, sometimes no sabemos cuál es la cantidad de something. No puedo decir, porque no sé, como no sé cuánto es, no puedo decir 50%. No puedo decir 30%. ¿Ok? Para cuando tenemos escenarios, tenemos estos quantifiers que tenemos a este lado. Que son all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few. Entonces, lo que hemos hecho, pues, que se hace, right? Tenemos como una tabla de medición, right? Para medir qué tanto porcentaje tiene each word. ¿Ok? Entonces, así es como usted lo va a utilizar. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, el último que es few está entre el 10% hacia abajo. Entonces, usted me dice, few students are here today in class. ¿Sí? Entonces, yo puedo decir, oh, probablemente hay siete, probablemente hay cinco, probablemente hay tres, probablemente hay cuatro. No estoy dando el specific, I mean, data o percentage o number, pero estoy dando un estimado, que es un rank. Yes. Entonces, cuando no sabemos el estimado, hay right? estimated quantity, utilizamos esta cosa. Yes, que son los quantifiers, este vocabulary here. Okay. Uh -huh. Ahora, ¿cómo lo utilizamos? Pues los, todos estos que están aquí en, en like a red square son fáciles de usar. ¿Por qué? Porque todos ellos van antes, before a plural now. Van siempre antes de algo que sea plural. ¿Ya? Yeah? Como okay. animals, cars, tables, schools, students, teachers. ¿Ok? Siempre va a ir antes de esas cosas. ¿Ok? El único que tiene un irregular, let's say, o special, es este, que es no one. Cuando utilizamos no one, tenemos que utilizar un verb. Entonces, siempre, la mayoría de casos, voy a utilizar no one at the beginning y luego un verbo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ahora, yo puedo ir cambiando esos verbos, right? Aquí en el example, we have no one gets married before age of 18. 
yo puedo decir, no one plays tennis on Saturday. No one cooks dinner at home. No one arrives late at school. No one watches TV. Ahora, ¿por qué siempre tengo que utilizar el simple present? ¿Se acuerdan del simple present? ¿Mm? Ernesto, ¿do you remember simple present? Yes. Aquí, con este, no one siempre va a ir al simple present, dependiendo del contexto. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Si sí, estamos hablando del present, si estamos hablando del present, ok, del present, vamos a utilizar el tercera persona para este. ¿Ok? Porque en este normalmente siempre vamos a hablar de terceras personas. Puede ser que sea it, puede ser que sea she, o puede ser que sea he. Exacto. Entonces, por eso, aquí tiene. Claro, yo puedo hablar acerca del pasado también, pero ese es otro contexto. ¿Ya? ¿Yeah? ¿Ok? Ok. Pero aquí, como estamos en present, no se olviden de la regla. ¿Ya? Yeah, no se olviden de la regla. What are you going to do this exercise here? It says, read the sentences about the small town in Monroe. Rewrite the sentences using a quantifier in the box. Each quantifier, I mean, use each quantifier only once. Entonces, tenemos estos quantifiers in this chart. ¿Qué va a hacer usted? Usted va a reescribir la sentence y le va a agregar un quantifier de los que están aquí. According to the context. Yes? Ernesto. Ernesto. Very good. Hello, teacher. Hello. ¿Entendió esta parte, Ernesto? ¿Cómo va a ser this exercise? Eh, no me quedó muy, muy claro. Ok, perfect, perfect. One more time. Otra vez. Usted va a reescribir esta oración y you need to use, tiene que utilizar un quantifier de los que está en este box. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Solo lo va a utilizar una vez. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que solo tenemos una para cada sentence. ¿Ya? ¿Yeah? Teacher. ¿Yes? Ok, ok. Sigma, por ejemplo. Este, una pregunta. Así uh, como, por ejemplo, en la segunda, que sería este, el 98% de los estudiantes, allí sería el nearly all, que es el, como el segundo. Exactly, nearly all. ¿Cuál sería Pero el ahí ya no va a ser, ya no sería necesario poner el, el por ciento, ¿verdad? Solo nearly all. Sería of students finish high school. Beautiful. That is the way. Exactly. You got it. You got it. That was Jocelyn, right? No? ¿Quién era eso? ¿Quién era la que estaba diciendo? I'm sorry. Es que no me aparece su nombre. Oh, yo, Carla. I apologize. I apologize. Yes, Carla. That is the way. That is the way. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Para la tercera, entonces, vamos a utilizar el all, que es el 100%. Oh, yes, that is correct. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Sería all the children start school by the age of six. Sí, solo quíteme el da. Ah, el of. Vale. No, no, el, el da. Me dijo all the children. Quíteme el da. Ajá. Entonces, solo entonces digo, sería. All children. Mm -hmm. Okay, gracias. Very good. That is the way. That is the way. Uh, when you finish with number five, five, number four and five, tell me, please. So I, I can hear the sentence. And again, si no entendió en casa, please let me know. Tell me. Teacher, lo número cuatro sería. A lot of couples have more than one child. Um, in that one, I will go with some. Oh, I'm sorry, number four, right? Yes. yes. Because it's 89.
So in that one, I will go with 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 moss. Moss. Moss covers. Because it's 89. Eh, yes, teacher, pero como aquí no dan como que la opción de poner esos, eh, nada más los que están en el recuadro, sería eh, a love out, y en la siguiente sería feel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, exactly. Espérame que ya me equivoqué. I'm sorry, I was watching the <laughs> sí. other one. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I am, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, it's a lot of, yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Okay, that is correct. Bueno, número cinco sería few, entonces. Exactly, few. Few families have more than four children. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. That is correct. Yeah, I was watching the other one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was watching the other chart. That's why I got confused. That is correct. Exactly. In number four, we have a lot of. A lot of uh, couples have more than one child. And then we have the last one that your classmate told us, like few families have more than four children. Not in El Salvador, right? <laughs> Not in El Salvador, because that's the opposite. Um, but maybe in another country, that's something that, that happened. Right? That's something that happened. Okay. If you have a question, let me know. Hello. Oh, let me see. Texas. One community being painted in Texas. Makes sense. Okay. If you finish, uh, I will move on to the next exercise. Okay. We're going to have some practice on, on, on this one today. Okay. Yes. I don't know if you finished. Ernesto, have you finished? Mm -hmm. Um, let's, um, sorry, uh, Karen, have you finished? Griselda, have you finished? Claudia, Andrea, Marisol, have you finished? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. I will move on to the next exercise that we have in here. Uh, let me see if, I, oh, this one is, this one is, okay. Okay, I want you to, to read this chart first. Take a look of this one. It says, what's typical? I want you to take a look of this information that we have in this one. Read, take a look of the information. We have different countries, right? Read the information. No sé si lo ven. Bien. If, if you don't see it well, let me know. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Teacher, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahí? ¿Vamos a leerlo o qué? Eh, ahorita le estoy dando tiempo para que lo lean ustedes primero. Right? Y luego participan. Yes. Once you finish reading, necesito que escriban these sentences in your notebook. Write these sentences in your notebook. Well, question. We have which facts surprise you? Why? Which facts seem like positive things? Which seem negative? And the other one, how do you think your community, your country compares? So the first thing is you to read this chart with this information, and then you need to write these questions in your notebook. 
So you can answer this question based on this information. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to give you five minutes to do this and then be ready. Okay. Ernesto, do you understand? I understand, teacher. I'm sorry. No, no? understand. No? no. Okay. No, no problem. Okay. Primero necesito que lea este chart que ve en la pantalla. Yes. With the countries. Y luego escriba esta discussion in your notebook. ¿Sí? Para que las conteste. Yes. Okay. Si tienes okay. Un vocabulary en la, en, el, en la information o en las questions, avisen. Let me know. Anytime. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Teacher. Yes. Uh, hay ciertas palabras que no entiendo de, de acá de ese cuadro. Uh -huh. eh, como elderly. Elderly. What is that thing? Let me see. Elderly. Okay, Japan, right? Yes. Elderly is like grandpa and grandma. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, households. Households. Oh, it's like 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 a house. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah, like like home. Homes. Ah, okay. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. And what about the questions? Do you understand the questions? Um. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Write the questions, please, and be ready. Okay, let's begin with participation. I will select people at home. I will say your name and I will say a country. What you need to do is you need to read the information that is about that country. Do you understand? Yes, one more time. I will request participation. I will say your name. I will say your name and you need to read one like country information. Let's begin with you, Andrea Marisol Represa. You go with Ireland, please. Okay. In Ireland, 83% of the adult population of their of home. On, on, their oh, own. Their, um, okay. Ana Marisol Zamora. Canada. Um, um, you go with Germany, please. Oh, Germany. In Germany, the average age to get married is um, 21 for men and 28 for women. Thank you so much. Barbara, you go with the United States. In the... Mm, permítame, teacher, que va un poquito borroso. Ahí está. In the United... 
Arab Emirates, 85% of the population live in urban areas. Thank you. I tell you the United States, right? It is the United Arab Emirates. 80% yes. of the population live in the urban population areas. Live. Okay. Thank you so much, Barbara. Very good. Uh, Daniela. Hello, Daniela. You go with Canada, Daniela. Hello. In Canada, forty five percent of husband and wives charge the house is work. Thank you. Housework. Housework. Very good. Housework. Okay. Thank you so much. Karen Garcia. Thank you, Karen. You go with Mexico. Karen Garcia, you go with Mexico? Yes. Or, or no? If, if not, let's continue with you, Laura. You go with Mexico, Laura. Please. Oh my gosh. Mexico. En Mexico, este, una pregunta. El, el porcentaje se va a utilizar el, el número que tiene ahí o los. No, o the, los one, the, the one that you have here, the picture. Okay. In Mexico, negating three percent uh, of of households have a TV set. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Uh, Lisbeth, you go with Portugal. Lisbeth, Portugal. Elizabeth, you go with Portugal. No? Okay, let's work with you. Uh, Griselda. Griselda, you go with Portugal, Griselda. ¿Qué voy a hacer con Portugal? Uh, you <laughs> need to read, read the information, please. Free the information. Que lea la información. Yes. In the Portugal, um, seventeen percent of mother world house in the home. Thank you. Seventy percent. Seventy percent of mothers work outside home. Very good. Okay. Let's continue with you. Um, Andrea Landos, you go with Australia. Andrea Landos, Australia. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, in Australia, 13% of house, I, households have more than five people. Very good. Thank you so much. One more time with you, Claudia Lopez. Claudia Lopez, Japan, please. I think she's sick, right? I guess so. Sorry, Claudia. Ernesto, Japan, Ernesto. Japan. Okay. In Japan. Sixty-five percent of the Elderly population live with their ch children. Children, very good. Thank you so much. Lisbeth? Lisbeth, you go with South Korea, Lisbeth. Okay, Lisbeth. Okay. What? 
Korea. South Korea. Oh, okay, South Korea. In South Korea, um, ninety nine of couples have children. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, listen. We're gonna answer this question. Which facts surprise you? Tell me why. This one is for you, Andrea Marisol Zamora. Andrea Marisol Zamora. Hello, hello. The first question is for you, this one. Which part? Zamora or Represa? Oh, I'm sorry, Andrea. Marisol Zamora Castillo. Okay. Ana Marisol Zamora. Ana Marisol. No? Okay, Andrea Marisol Represa. Thank you. You're next. You're next. Okay. Uh, the question is, which part surprised you? And tell me why, please. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, how can I say I so are uh, que me sorprendí? I'm surprised. Bird to be. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Okay. I'm surprised to. Um, in Australia, 13% of households have more than five people. Oh, that's that's impressive, right? That's like... Yes. <laughs> very impressive. <laughs> not like a satellite, right? Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> un poco parecido, pero es <laughs> <laughs> un, un país de primer mundo, digámoslo así, Australia. <laughs> oops, oops, thank you so much, thank you so much. <laughs> Okay. Lorena, next question for you, Lorena. Which part things like positive things and which ones do you think are negative, Lorena? Well, I think that in, in Canada are positive things because uh, the, the percentage of husbands and wife share the housework also in um, a negative a negative thing is in united united arab emirates because 85 percent of the population live in urban areas okay thank you so much thank you so much very good um, I think that was Julie's bed. Yes, me. Okay, okay. Julie, 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 Elderly population live with their children. That is positive or negative? Um, is that it? Is that it positive? What about negative? Something negative that you think like is negative? Mm, for me, the post the negative in Mexico. Um, <laughs> Ninety ninety three of household have TBS. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much, Lipe. Great job. Ernesto, it's the same question to you, Ernesto. The same question. Which parts, which parts, things like positive things and which things negative, Ernesto? Ernesto? Hello, hello, Ernesto, are you here? Ernesto, Ernesto? Ernesto? Hello? Hello, hello, teacher. Ernesto, thank you. It's the same question for you. 
which parts things like positive thing and which things negative. Ernesto, do you understand? Uh, oh. Sorry, teacher, uh, please repeat, repeat. Please. Okay, vamos, vamos con la number two, la number two, esta, okay? Yes, yes. So, which fat things like positive things, which things negative? Um, yeah. uh, uh, in, in Australia, in Australia, my surprise, if we think of the country who have more than five people. That is positive or negative, Ernesto? Is it positive or negative, Ernesto? It's, it's positive. It's positive. Okay, thank you. Positive, yes. Negative is in, in Mexico. In Mexico, uh, many people uh, fat, <laughs> very fat. Uh, in Mexico? Uh, yes. I mean, but, okay. okay, okay, I'm Which sorry. To hear that. Tacos. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, because it's like, that's not good. All right, thank you so much, Ernesto. And then we have the last question. Do you think your country compares? What is something similar that we have here in El Salvador from another country? Something that you say, oh, listen, this is similar. I'm seeing this in El Salvador. Which one do you think is similar to El Salvador? Andrea Marisol, Represa, tell me. Thank you. Uh, which country is similar? Hmm? Yes. Uh -huh. Maybe Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Mexico. Yeah. Um, right. um, let me see. Um, maybe Germany. Um, oh, really? Get people like in El Salvador get married when like between 31 and 28 years old. Something like that. Uh, okay. um, or oh, maybe not. I don't know, but but I think uh, uh, the most um, country similar with El Salvador, uh, Mexico, um, maybe Portugal. Maybe Portugal. Um, yes. Um, United uh, United Arab Emirates. Emirates. Uh, Probably, right? Probably. Yes. Um, and that's it. <laughs> well, very good. Thank you so much. Yes, Thank you so much. I will okay. hear another. Thank you so much. Very good. Great job. I will have another participation, and that is for from you. Let me say, what is this girl? Oh my gosh, she, she's not here. I think she left. She's not here. I think she left. She got a problem with it. Okay, Carla Colocho. Hello, Carla. Hi, hi. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, Carla. Colocho. Hi, hi. Hello. Carla, the same questions for you. I mean, how do you think your country compares with one of these ones? <laughs> no, no veo la pantalla. No tengo en negro. Revisé el chat de Está WhatsApp. Está el internet. Revisa el chat de WhatsApp, ahí se lo envía también. Okay, so, so you can have it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, do you have that problem? That's internet connection problem, right? Uh, sometimes that thing doesn't work. Let me see if I can stop sharing so I can like share one more time so maybe you can see it better. Okay. I'm working with the third question, which is how do you think your country compares with this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me, how do you think your country compares? Do we have something similar from these countries? Like maybe Japan or maybe South Korea? South Korea, right? Mm -hmm. What is something that we share, like Salvadorian people? We have something in common with one of these countries. 
Okay, let's work with you. Um, Claudia Lopez, Claudia Lopez, tell me. How do you think our country compares with this one, Claudia Lopez? In qual países pues, we can have a similar situation? Yep. Laura, tell me, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Hello. Tell me, how do you think this country compares with this one? Entiende la cuestión? Yes. Oh, que creo que se puede comparar con el país, con el país. Exactly, exactly. Um, pero, eh, creo que en México. Maybe México. En México. Nearly three percent the husband's holds have a TV set. Y quiero ver cuál otro. Maybe Canada. What do you think about Canada? They compare to Salvador. Uh, yes. Yes, no. yeah. Okay. This is I don't great. think it's a teacher. <laughs> um, yeah. Absolutely not, right? That's, that's never going to happen. Okay. Unfortunately. In the uh, in United Arab Emirates. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Oh, we have like 80, 85 percent of the population live in urban area. Maybe that's true, right? Maybe that's true. Okay, thank you so much. So in here again, we're working with quantifiers, as you may know, and also percentage, right? Aquí tenemos las percentage. And in the uh, example below here, we have uh, the quantifiers. So we can use quantifiers instead of using the percentage that we have in this one. Right, yes. Ahora, si yo quiero utilizar, por ejemplo, un quantifier with 13%, what quantifier utilizo? Which one do I use? Mm -hmm. Which one do I use with Australia? A few. A few or few, few, okay. Few, what about, what about with uh, Mexico. What is the um, quantifier that I use with Mexico? A lot. Um, nearly all. Nearly all. Very good. Nearly all. Because I have nearly like all. nearly all. Very good. Okay. That is the way we switch. That is the way we switch. Like if, if we don't know the a specific quantity, we can use the add quantifiers. Okay. To deal with that. Okay. So you have like a estimated. Okay, I'm going to show you the following video. We need you to listen and watch. Okay. English for beginners. I am, you are, he, she, it is. I am you are, he, she, it, is. Robert, I am. Hi. Can you show me the way to the beach? Towel. Breakfast. Fork. Knife. 
Brad. I love you. You are perfect. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I love you. You are perfect. I thank you. Suitcase, slippers, toothbrush, passport, pyjamas. Be good dog. Hi, I am. Hi, I am. Thank you so much. Uh, with that video, we're finished. I will say the attendance and then I will say goodbye. Please, when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Give me a minute. I have the attendance list here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alison Daniela. Thank you. Ana Marisol Zamora. I'm here, teacher. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Andrea Vanessa Landos. Present. Thank you, Barbara. Present, Brenda teacher. Castro. Carolina Perez. Claudia Lopez. Cristina Monge. Daniela Asensio. Present. Thank you, Edgar Portillo. Ernesto. Uh -huh. Griselda Moreno. Present teacher. Ivania Stephanie Mendoza. Jennifer Torres. Jennifer Moss. Jennifer Marroquín. Jocelyn Mancia. Karen García. Carla Colocho. Laura Molina. Thank you. Leslie. Lisbeth Martínez de Rodríguez. Thank you, Lisbeth. Lorena del Carmen Hernández. Present. Lucía Cepeda. Hello, hello, Lucía. No. Eh, Mayra Méndez. Raúl Reyes. Dalila Barahona. Eh, Ruth del Carmen Chicas. Ruth. No? Okay, we have a Stephanie Quintanilla. Is Stephanie? No? Okay. Give me a minute, please. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay, so uh, just let me tell you before we leave, thank you so much for being here in this module. I appreciate everything you did, right? Your practice. Don't forget, as in the video, Karen, thank you so much, Karen, for letting me know, no problem. Don't forget, as in the video, keep practicing your English. Sí, siga practicando su inglés. No importa si se equivoca, keep doing it. Keep learning, okay? This is a process, right? This is a process, e step by step, little by little. Thank you so much, people. It was my pleasure. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's Eve. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.